Today, we will discuss one of the most contentious topics in American politics, immigration, here on The Cruise Line. Hello, and welcome to The Cruise Line, brought to you by Tour Productions. I'm your host, Erica Cruz. And I'm Jason Nichols. After both parties took a hard line on unauthorized immigration in the 1990s, Democratic Illinois Senator Dick Durbin and Orrin Hatch, a Republican senator from Utah, came together to introduce the Development, Relief, and Education for Alien Minors Act, also known as the DREAM Act, or S-1291 in 2001. It provided the right to work and a pathway for legal permanent residency in the United States for unauthorized immigrants who arrived as children under the age of 16. In order to qualify for the DREAM Act, one would have to have proof of U.S. residency for five consecutive years, be between the ages of 12 to 35, and not be deportable or in temporary protective status. Dreamers, as they came to be known, must have graduated high school or enrolled in an institute of higher education. During the first six years, a dreamer status is conditional and they are expected to complete two years of college or military service. Dreamers who attend college would not be eligible for Pell Grants, but could receive work study or student loans. After becoming permanent residents, they would be eligible for U.S. citizenship. The DREAM Act failed to pass in the House of Representatives or the Senate despite being introduced several times. In 2007, the DREAM Act got 52 votes in the Senate but failed to surpass the 60 votes necessary to break the filibuster. The House of Representatives passed the DREAM Act in 2010 with the support of then-President Obama, but again failed to reach 60 votes and was subject to the Senate filibuster. Opponents of the DREAM Act have always stated that they felt it would encourage undocumented immigration or that it should be part of a comprehensive immigration reform bill. Republican senators, including the late John McCain of Arizona, Texas Senator John Cornyn, and South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, all opposed the 2011 version of the bill, citing a need for more border security measures. That same year, the state of California passed its own DREAM Act, which allowed for undocumented students to receive private scholarships for state institutions. The following year, in 2012, President Obama introduced Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals through an executive branch memorandum. The Trump administration tried to phase out DACA in 2017, but a lawsuit brought by the NAACP and others landed in the Supreme Court. The court determined that the recession of DACA was arbitrary and capricious. Senators Durbin and Schumer teamed up with Republican Senators Flake and Graham to propose the 2017 DREAM Act, which also died in Congress. The 2017 version of the DREAM Act would have given DACA recipients permanent residency and recipients of temporary protected status the opportunity to apply for DACA. Currently, Congress is working on the Farm Work Modernization Act which could legalize up to 325,000 undocumented immigrants who work in agriculture. It gives farm workers the pathway to a green card. The bill passed in the House with a vote of 260 to 165 in 2019. Another iteration of the DREAM Act, called the DREAM and Promise Act, is currently being considered. It's not quite as expansive as the U.S. Citizenship Act of 2021, but covers more people than the original DREAM Act and could very well garner the 10 Republican votes needed to pass in the Senate. That's all for us here on the Cruise Line. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe below. If you have any topics that you think we should cover, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and wear your mask.